The world of aviation constantly evolves. New designs emerge, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. On December 26, 2024, a seismic shift occurred. Images and videos surfaced online, showcasing a groundbreaking achievement in Chinese aviation. This wasn't just a new aircraft, it was a leap into the future. China had apparently developed not one, but two, sixth-generation aircraft. This revelation sent shockwaves through the global defense community. The United States, long considered the leader in advanced military technology, was seemingly caught off guard. The potential implications were enormous. This was a clear signal of China's growing technological prowess. It also highlighted their ambition to challenge the existing balance of power in the skies. The world watched with bated breath, eager to learn more about these mysterious new aircraft. The emergence of these advanced Chinese jets marked a turning point. It signaled the dawn of a new era in aviation, one where China could potentially take center stage. The race for aerial dominance had entered a new, unpredictable chapter. China's sixth-generation aircraft, shrouded in secrecy, sparked excitement and skepticism. Dubbed the J-36, its numerical pattern hinted at its official designation. The true nature and purpose of the J-36 remains speculative. Is it an air superiority fighter or a stealthy strike bomber? The world eagerly awaits answers. The limited imagery and footage of the J-36 provided tantalizing glimpses into its design and capabilities. One of the most striking features was its sheer size. Even when compared to the already large J-20, the J-36 appeared noticeably bigger. This significant size difference hinted at a potentially massive payload capacity. Further supporting this observation was the aircraft's robust landing gear, clearly designed to handle substantial weight. The J-36 was no lightweight fighter, it was a heavy hitter built for a specific purpose. Perhaps the most unexpected revelation was the J-36's three-engine configuration. While not entirely unprecedented in aviation history, the use of three engines in a modern tactical aircraft was highly unusual. This unconventional layout immediately sparked intense curiosity and a flurry of theories. Some speculated that the third engine might be a scramjet, capable of propelling the J-36 to hypersonic speeds. Others suggested a more nuanced approach, with the three engines potentially used for high-speed crews and stealthy subsonic loitering. The J-36's emergence wasn't a surprise. Rumors of China's sixth-generation aircraft circulated for years. In 2019, Dr. Wang He Fang confirmed the program. Initially met with skepticism, it gained credibility. State media and satellite imagery confirmed its existence. The J-36 represented years of research and development. It showcased China's determination to close the technological gap. The J-36's advanced stealth capabilities and potential for hypersonic flight marked a leap forward. It was a testament to China's growing technological prowess. While the designation J-36 gained traction in the wake of the aircraft's unveiling, questions lingered about its accuracy. The J prefix, traditionally used to denote fighter aircraft in the People's Liberation Army Air Force, seemed potentially inaccurate. The J-36's sheer size and potential roles, particularly those leaning towards strike or bomber capabilities, cast doubt on its classification as a pure fighter. Could it be that the People's Liberation Army Air Force was deviating from its established naming conventions? Adding to the intrigue was the possibility of alternative designations. Some speculated that the aircraft might receive an H prefix, typically reserved for bombers in the People's Liberation Army Air Force. Others suggested a completely new designation system, reflecting the J-36's unique capabilities and blurring the lines between traditional aircraft categories. The lack of official confirmation from Chinese authorities only fueled the speculation. The J designation mystery, much like the aircraft itself, remained an enigma, a puzzle awaiting a definitive solution. The numerical designation 36011, 
prominently displayed on the J-36's fuselage, became a focal point of analysis. Enthusiasts and experts alike pored over historical data, searching for patterns and precedents within the People's Liberation Army Air Force's numbering system. The J-20, with its 2011 marking during its prototype phase, offered a compelling precedent. The correlation between the initial two digits and the aircraft's eventual official designation seemed more than mere coincidence. It hinted at a deliberate system, one that could potentially unlock the secrets of the J-36's true designation. However, deciphering the remaining digits proved more elusive. Some theories suggested they represented specific production blocks, variants, or even internal project codes within the Chinese aviation industry. Others dismissed them as mere serial numbers, devoid of any deeper significance. The numerical code, much like a cryptic message, tantalized observers with the promise of hidden knowledge. Cracking the code, however, would require more than mere speculation. It demanded concrete evidence and insights into the inner workings of China's secretive military-industrial complex. The lack of official information regarding the J-36 created a breeding ground for speculation. Theories abounded, ranging from plausible to outlandish, each attempting to fill the void left by confirmed details. Social media platforms and online forums buzzed with conjecture. Amateur analysts, armchair experts, and seasoned observers alike shared their interpretations, often with more confidence than evidence. The J-36, in the absence of concrete facts, became a blank slate onto which individuals projected their hopes, fears, and preconceived notions. However, amidst the rampant speculation, a call for restraint and objectivity emerged. Experienced defense analysts urged caution, emphasizing the importance of separating fact from fiction. They stressed the need to rely on verifiable evidence, such as official statements, credible leaks, and expert analysis, rather than unverified claims and wishful thinking. The J-36, they argued, was too important to be relegated to the realm of mere speculation. Understanding its true capabilities, purpose, and implications required a grounded, evidence-based approach, one that acknowledged the limitations of current knowledge while remaining open to new information as it surfaced. The J-36 represents a significant leap forward, rooted in a long lineage of aviation innovation. China's journey spans decades marked by successes and setbacks, from reverse engineering Soviet designs to developing indigenous jets like the J-10 and J-11. China honed its aviation industry. The J-20 marked a turning point. The J-36 culminates this legacy. The J-36's imposing size and unconventional three-engine layout sparked a whirlwind of speculation regarding its intended purpose. Was it designed to dominate the skies in aerial combat, engaging enemy fighters with unmatched agility and firepower? Or did it signal a shift towards long-range strike capabilities, enabling China to project power far beyond its borders? Theories abounded, each attempting to reconcile the aircraft's observed features with plausible strategic objectives. Some analysts drawing parallels with the American F-22 Raptor envisioned the J-36 as a dedicated air superiority fighter tasked with establishing dominance over contested airspace. Others, pointing to its size and potential payload capacity, argued for a multi-row. The J-36's substantial size suggests a design optimized for heavy payloads over long distances. Its stealthy profile and strike capabilities align with China's long-range precision strike ambitions. The J-36 could project power across the Pacific, enhancing China's military reach. Its stealth features enable it to penetrate defenses and strike high-value targets. This aircraft could significantly impact regional stability and global power balance. The J-36's three-engine configuration is a rarity in modern tactical aircraft. Why would China opt for such an unconventional layout? Enhanced range and loitering capabilities are one theory, exceptional fuel efficiency during long flights is another. High-speed flight optimization is also considered. This could enable supersonic speeds for brief periods. The engine arrangement may offer stealth benefits, minimizing radar cross-section from certain angles. 
The J-36's engines are as captivating as the aircraft. Unraveling their secrets requires a deep dive into aerospace propulsion. The J-36's stealthy profile, evident in its blended wing body design and internal weapons bays, is designed to operate undetected in contested airspace. Its reduced radar signature and radar-absorbing materials complicate enemy defenses. The J-36's stealth and striking power could alter the balance in crucial waterways. It underscores China's determination to reshape air power and future warfare. The J-36's ability to carry a substantial payload was evident from its sheer size and robust design. However, the exact nature of its armament remained a subject of intense speculation. Traditional bombs and missiles were a given, but rumors swirled about more exotic and potentially game-changing weaponry. Hypersonic missiles and directed energy weapons such as lasers entered the realm of possibility. The J-36's armament, much like the aircraft itself, remained shrouded in secrecy. The world watched and waited, eager for clues about the true nature of this enigmatic warplane's bite. The J-36's diamond-shaped wing design is a radical approach to aerodynamics and stealth. Its sharp angles minimize radar cross-section, making it hard to detect. The design also enhances maneuverability and aerodynamic efficiency. The J-36's wing is a calculated design pushing aerospace engineering boundaries. The J-36's lack of a traditional tail assembly, like the B-2 Spirit Bomber, was key to its stealth design. By eliminating tail structures, the J-36 reduced its radar cross-section, enhancing stealth. Advanced flight control systems ensured stability and maneuverability despite the tailless design. The J-36's design was a bold departure from traditional principles, driven by stealth and aerodynamic efficiency. The J-36 boasted advanced sensors and electronic warfare systems for superior situational awareness. Its ASA radar could detect targets at long ranges and track multiple targets simultaneously. ESM and IRS systems provided early threat detection and enhanced situational awareness. The J-36's combination of stealth and advanced sensors made it a formidable opponent. The J-36's unveiling shocked the American defense establishment, challenging U.S. air superiority. Some dismissed it as propaganda, but others saw it as a clear threat. Urgency gripped the Pentagon, accelerating next-gen aircraft programs. The J-36 forced the U.S. to confront a new reality of contested technological dominance. The J-36 reignited global competition for aerial dominance. The race was on to develop aircraft that outperformed the J-36 in speed, stealth, and firepower. Nations like Russia, France, and Japan closely monitored the situation. The J-36 raised the bar, pushing nations to innovate and compete. The J-36's emergence signaled a potential shift in global power. U.S. air dominance was challenged, impacting international relations and trade. China invested heavily in technologies to secure its place as a superpower. The J-36 symbolized a changing global order with profound implications. The J-36 ushered in an era of uncertainty in international affairs. The world navigated a multipolar landscape with new alliances and rivalries. The J-36 highlighted the rapid pace of technological change and its disruptive potential. Dialogue, diplomacy, and cooperation were crucial in this volatile environment. The J-36 was the result of China's decades-long pursuit of aerospace prowess. China transitioned from reverse engineering Soviet designs to developing indigenous aircraft. Investment in research and innovation transformed China into a major aviation player. 
the J-36 symbolized China's arrival on the global aviation stage. China's early imitation of Soviet designs laid the groundwork for innovation. Engineers gained insights into advanced aircraft design through reverse engineering. Investment in research and development led to China's aviation advancements. The J-36 exemplified China's successful transition from imitation to innovation. The J-36's tailless design marked a significant shift in aircraft design philosophy. Eliminating tail structures reduced radar cross-section, enhancing stealth. Advanced flight control systems ensured agility and low observability. The J-36 showcased the potential of unconventional aerodynamic configurations. The J-36 signaled China's capability to challenge established aerospace powers. Its advanced technology marked a leap forward in aircraft design. The J-36's arrival shifted the global balance of power. The world watched as the dynamics of air power changed. The J-36's unveiling signaled a shift in air warfare. Its stealth and advanced avionics challenged traditional air superiority. Hypersonic capabilities added complexity to military strategy. The J-36 forced nations to reassess military doctrine and strategy. The J-36 embodied the convergence of cutting-edge technologies. Its tailless design and three-engine layout hinted at advanced capabilities. The J-36's emergence highlighted the rapid pace of innovation. New capabilities brought new threats and vulnerabilities. The J-36's unveiling impacted global geopolitics. China's aerospace advancements challenged U.S. dominance. Nations reassessed defense postures and forged new alliances. The J-36 symbolized the challenges and opportunities of a multipolar world. The J-36's debut marks a pivotal moment in human history. As we enter an era defined by rapid technological advancements, the choices we make today will determine whether this new era is characterized by collaboration or conflict. The J-36 underscores the need for dialogue, diplomacy, and a renewed commitment to international cooperation.